okay. saw this on the AccuQuilt website, this pattern. It's one giant chimney sweep made oh. made in instead of you know individual blocks each block is a is part of the chimney sweep you did that's really one of the good new that's one of the new, uh, you're a quilt in full now i'm working on it yeah. and yeah. then i was the new, inspired uh, by last uh, one of the nice new dice one of the new dice we we chimney did it sweep. yeah we did it here it, it, no not it's not a box it's it's just a die it's, it's yeah we yeah. have it we taught yeah. it yeah. That's what I you used. It. Yeah. yeah. So no, then, no, actually, no, I, 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 I was so inspired by Guileen, who said she makes fancy backs. So I had this is the back. Yeah, this is the back of it. Oh, I had extra whoa. strips, and then I had an extra uh, square. So I just decided to make a fancy back. And you, oh, wow! And then, and then I put my my over here. Oh my, no! My, don't tell me a I label. Put my label on. Oh, so, that anyway, is really nice. Good job. Thank you. You did really good. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Look at this. Look at these quilts coming. Yeah. Cool. So I went on the uh, okay. K Facet website. Okay, come. Okay. And Whoa. so Look I found that this one and converted it into uh, using my AccuQuilt 9. All right. Yeah. Wow. So I have to tell you, this is um, the K 108 inch um, backing. backing. Uh -huh. Don't tear it because I tore it and it doesn't go on the grain, so I had to make a big... Whoop. I know. <laughs> Let me see what it says. Oh. Oh, poke yeah. it Yeah, so don't do that. If it's that sateeny oh. stuff, it doesn't work. Cool. What pattern is that? I mean, it's not a basket. Is it a basket? No, it's called the blooms. The blooms. The blooms. I'm following you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Talking okay. to Mike, the people out, out uh, in Whoa. the audience can't watch. So here's another oh one. Oh my goodness. A cave one. And this one, you really have to take pictures. And wow. So. Here, get out in front. Oh, that is really get out cool. Front. Go out in front with them. Go out in front with oh. them. Oh, and I like there. the back. Oh, You're backing you. too. All polka dots. Yeah, and so the back I had extra Whoa. size. We're getting fancy backs. Yeah. So she wants to see the front again. Ready? Yeah, so it, you can convert to your cubes, you know, if oh, you absolutely. pay any attention to it. So You can. Yeah. It's so simple, really. It's so simple, really, yeah. But yeah, that was very fun. very simple. Yeah. Very cute. Thank you. Good job. You did a lot. Okay, Miss Madeline. You, come over. Come over. Over here. she quilted. Okay. Sure, this is a new quilter, believe it or not. Yes. And she asked me to quilt it for her. It's a king. Oh my gosh. She designed it too. Wow. And oh, the Bargello. Look but at that. I just that. thought it was too pretty not to bring. Oh my goodness. It took me about seven hours to quilt it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good job. I know. So it's going to be a wedding gift. Oh, wow. 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 Good job. Oh, cool. And it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you brought one to share, Madeline. I brought one. I'm not finished. Oh, I'm look at your fabric. Out. I'm still. Well, this is a kit that I bought on yeah. sale. Yes. From you. Yes. And so. Um, look how cute. I still have. The, I still have the border to do. It's with the signature block. Yes, and I use the AccuQuilt. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah. there's enough fabric to make another one oh, yeah. or make a bigger one. I was surprised yeah. how much fabric yeah. you put in there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. And it was so easy to do. I love it. You know, um, Teresa, our, actually, the, um, the bucket list quilt is here in this room, right? Oh, you're talking about Yeah. The it's the same dye that I would like to just compare and show you. I, I don't think we looked at it last month, right? Perfect time. I think it fits right in. This was my Christmas present oh, from the bucket list. Show. So yeah, we, we have it in the show with our other signature blocks. Okay, so this is a gift from the bucket list club. Tony wrote all the little messages on his embroidery machine. 
to re um, Brenda put all the blocks together, and I think probably the fabric was all submitted by the bucket list. No, some of it was. Some yeah. of it was. See, it's she pulled from stash. You see, it's the same shape. You see it's that? The same. It's just the reverse. It's just oh. the reverse. Oh. And this is from our bucket list group, and it's a fun yeah. group. Yeah. The idea is is that they finish something that they started. It's been on their bucket list, <laughs> and and the when people bring their finished projects, we go around the room, let them share their project and they get an award of a little chocolate dove <laughs> that has the little messages in it. Oh. And I'm telling you, if you would just read those messages and follow them in your life, you will have the best life ever. <laughs> so these are all the little sayings that I cannot believe that um, Tony did this, but it says, chocolate is the best way to say, I love you. Oh. Isn't that nice? Sometimes one smell, one smile means more than a dozen roses. Isn't that sweet? So <coughs> the quilt is human to finish is divine. <coughs> Open your eyes to all the love around you. I mean, just get a, a box, a bag of Dove and eat your heart out and <laughs> live your life away. And it's two bags for $7 at CVS this week. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate for seven dollars, huh? But anyhow, this quote is very special. We're sharing it on our um, program right now. Thank you. It looks so different. Yeah, it's just the reverse look. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, come over. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. I got you really want me to tell you where I got it? <laughs> so, well, what does that mean? <laughs> she said, you really want to know where I got it? What does that mean? Well, there was a group of us in one of, our, one of my mini groups, and we all went to the Goodwill, and we bought men's shirts. Oh. Yay! And so then we, we cut them up, and so they're just men's shirts except for the backing of that's course. great <laughs> that's wonderful and, so, and i love the quilting in it mm, yeah sandra did that. that is gorgeous <laughs> so it was a fun thing for yeah you know, well so. anyway. very very fun and what's oh, the what's the size of the block oh that was with the uh uh let's see uh the value die and i made the triangles from that value so, die yeah that value was your die. yeah with the go that's Go very, big. very, very pretty. I love the check on the back. That's not a, t -sh a shirt, is Nope, it? that's not a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Very, very nice. Oh, thank you. Good. What a show, you guys. Love it. Thank you. That is really cute, though. No, but it, that's, the, that's the thing right now. All the young kids are what like, was it repurpose? Yeah. Yeah. Take those shirts and repurpose them. Oh, look how sweet. Good job, Linda. I finished the top before I got sick with the cold. So <laughs> That is adorable. That is yeah. the little crazy quilt die. And by the way, we were out of inventory, but it's back in. We have it in inventory. Was it fun? Yes, it was fun. I got down to 15 minutes for each block. Yeah. I did really good. After the first two, yes, you know, I right. got into the groove, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah. there's only one time I had to unsew and try again because I got the wrong top to a bottom or something. Yeah. But it, it, it's fun once you get the into the mood of it, you know, to do it. And, yeah, I and I, agree. I did this one, and I've got another one in progress that's a heart, that's a wonky heart. Oh, yes, yes, it's yes. It's kind of the same concept. Right, same concept. Yes. That's the acupuncture. So I've oh. got that with my S red heart stuff. Dora. <laughs> so they're asking you about your jacket. Oh, yes. Missy, turn around and, and look at the tights and the shoes. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. You're styling there, young yeah, girl. <laughs> my Lula Row for my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> but did you make your jacket? Yes. Very, These are fun very to cute. do. I have a whole bag full of different 
uh, paper piecings to put together. Some are cats, some are houses, etc. And so that's what I do when I'm just sitting about, you know. By hand? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Good. This, really this, cute. This is fun. This is going to go to one of the grandkids. I Aww. don't know which one, but one of them. Very we cute. had four born last year, so, you know, four oh. more great-grands. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Good job. Thank you. But those tights are new. I'm going to have to get me a pair. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, pretty. Come over here. Wow. Look at so sparkly. Look, Gloria. So is that the large? This is crazy the ten and a half. That's the, the large yeah. crazy quilt die. Yeah. Very cute. And the circles? The circle uh, is you do the same patch and then use the circle, um, AccuQuilt circle, the eight inch circle, and cut it into a circle. And, and then you applique it on. Great. It's like Very the cute. Like the world. Hmm? It's like a yeah. 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 Very, very pretty. I like the sparkle. That's very fun. Very, very nice. Good job, Gloria. Thank you. Good job. Woo! And Patty. What a show! Thank you. Mine is, um, these triangles are three inches um, turned into diamonds. Um, I'm not very happy with the quilt, but Don't you know it's, it is pretty. Oh, look! It looks very pretty. Look at it on on TV, and you'll see it different. Oh, oh yeah, gorgeous. the border, the border. I didn't have the border. I bought it here at Quilt in a Day. The other pieces are, of course, from Quilt in a Day, but from my stash. Beautiful. Um, cool. It looks really pretty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look, at, I like it to see it in the camera. Look how all our points match. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can't say that. There are some that don't match. Don't ever no. point them out. But no. ever. But it was it was difficult to put together. I have to tell you because it was not. It's not a straight across row. Mm -hmm. It had to be like at an angle. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, yeah, it was, like it was very, uh, I think I started like in the beginning of December, and I finished it, well, last week. It's kind of like yeah. a radiant star. You have to make those, those points are at an angle, aren't they? It is really pretty. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I like how you just kind of blended it. It's really pretty. It's just, uh, you know, a mishmash of uh, different colors that I had um, in my stash. And then, of course, there were some that I had to buy more of. <laughs> it worked beautifully. Because it just, you know. But um, once the back gets on, I'll show you again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bring it back, she'll get a dove. Okay, Brenda. Whoa, look at this, right, this bright is that, uh, the large, The large uh, crazy quilt block. Wow. And um, look how pretty. It's flannel. Oh, wow. So I pre-wash my flannels. Good. And pre-shrink them. That's really pretty. And one thing I see on the back, she pressed her seams open. Yes, I did. Except for when I was sewing the blocks and the rows together. I did, uh, in the block, I sewed all, I pressed all the seams open. It looks like stained glass now. <laughs> oh, it does. Uh -huh. It's a flip-flop. Don't put a backing on it. All right, when you're laying this out, Eleanor, uh -huh. I'm going to have you turn it lengthwise so I can. When you're laying these blocks out, I had my I have a design wall, and uh -huh. I, I asked Ron, my husband, to help me. Yes, I was going blind. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, of course, grumble, grumble, he did. But I, was, I made sure that when I was putting them together, because of the thickness of the flannel, Oh. I tried not to lay it so that the seams would come. I there see. were any seams, so there wouldn't right. be any seams or any colors. So, like for here, I didn't want any orange or any red dots together, yeah. and I didn't want any interlocking seams be because it does get really thick mm -hmm. for flannel. Mm -hmm. But it's fun, and I have a really wild fabric. I'm considering a solid color, and then this really wild. It's it's this red. one right there. Is that it, your wild one? Well, no, it it looks <laughs> like this color. Uh -huh. But it's it's in the it looks like jigsaw puzzles. Oh. 
and it's in flannel of all these same colors. And I'm thinking about putting a solid color here and then putting a jigsaw puzzle around the outer edge. Oh, wow. Cute. Yeah. And when you're Cute. doing these, I, well, I do this with every quilt. I, I do a stitch, a stay stitch, all the way around the outside. So for our bias edge, mm -hmm. that straight stitch is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and I think that that really, because if you don't get it, the borders on right away, mm -hmm. Or you don't get it quilted right away. It really mm -hmm. protects it from stretching. Mm -hmm. right. Good idea. Because being a long armor, nothing worse than getting a lettuce edge Great quilt. Great idea. So remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll have and to it's write about that a, in our pattern. It's not a quarter of an inch. It's eighth of an inch. And I up on this one, I, I did the seam stitch length of two and a half. But on some quilts, I just do three or three and a half inches on mm -hmm. that stay stitch. So. Did you do that on your new baby rock? No. Oh, your new baby lock. I got lock. a new baby lock. Ooh, I got one that has the a love. thread drive, I mean, th a thumb drive. Ooh, oh, my, it's the yeah. thumb drive. Yeah, because my old one had a, a floppy disk. Oh, Does anybody oh, remember yeah. floppy disks? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I loved my Elagios, but it's um, when the floppy disk goes, yeah. so goes the machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But the machines right. were still working, and he gave me a good trade, so I got a Baby Lock Ariel embroidery oh, machine. Whoa. A-R-I-A-L. Uh-huh. A-R-I-E-L. It's lovely. It's just good lovely. Good job. Anyway. Thank you. All right, Jenny, what you doing, girl? Oh, look at the back. Is that flannel? This, this Is that flannel? No. Oh, it looks so but pretty. This one is the first quilt that I completed. And it is my version of the crazy quilt before AccuQuilt. Ah, all right. Oh, look. You want to come around? Come in the front, and we'll show it. Everybody, kind of move. Okay. Here you you go in the front, and I'll hold the corner. Okay, you go in front. Go in front, and you can even hold the mic. All righty. Uh, I made this with uh, starting with the border, matching two stacks of fat quarters, and then working with that. So you can see they are rectangles. Here's one stack, and there's the other stack. And you just whack it, leaving about an <laughs> inch and a half from the edge. Put one on the bottom, so keep going. No. So there are. Two sets of nine inch fat quarters. That's neat. Thank you. Very pretty. pretty. Thank you. Yay for finishing. Yeah. Right. Cool. Now the other one, the other one I just, this was my first quilt that I completed. Do you want me to hold it now? Help. Now Ooh. this one is the wacky quilt without the wacky hard quilt without the border. No, not the border, the binding. Oh, look how cute. Let watch the cord under you. I'm trying to get it away from you. There you go. Okay, you want to tell about that one? Uh, this is an Accu quilt die, and I just used it's cute. I used um, uh, a layer cake, and just found a border that worked and matched the um, this one strip to this border. Cute, cute. Very Thank you. Very nice. Very cute. In time for Valentine's Day. Yes, really. Oh. I, cut, I cut the binding, but I can't remember where I put it. <laughs> that sounds like all of us, huh? Very nice. A grand show. Thank you. I'm excited that you're going home and sewing up a storm and having a good time. So it was a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Will. You're welcome.